Uh, hello, assalamualaikum guys. Semua dah masuk. Hello, hello, boleh dengar? Boleh dengar lagi. Panggil semua, kawan kawan, komplit ni. Najwa, call your friends. Ah, uh, group member saya dah cukup dah. Bagi seorang group lagi satu, ada dua group. Niko, ni Alex. Uh, seorang lagi belum. Ah, panggil panggil. Dah siap panggil saya. Hello. Okay. Ya, yeah, Alex. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Siapa lagi? Dia dia on the way sebab internet problem. Oh, dia duduk mana? Dia duduk Sarawak. Oh, ah. Sarawak. Tempat mana? Uh, Kuching. Kuching. Kuching mana besar. Orang mana? Saya. Uh. Saya Kelantan. Oh, Kelantan. Alex Gabriel, anak Milton. Uh -huh. Saya ingat orang seorang apa. Lagi seorang? Ya. Yeah. Lagi seorang siapa? Seorang dia. Tiga lah? Uh, empat. Satu, siapa lagi? Alex, Miko. Anlin. Uh -huh. Dengan Eiffel. Eiffel belum masuk. Ya, yeah, boleh mula. Najwa, tiga je eh. Awak punya grup. Ah, uh, betul dok. Ah, introduce your name. Introduce. 
on camera. Semua on camera. Silakan. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Nur Naja and I'm from group 9. S E E. Ah uh, yes. Okay. Next. Uh, hello. My name is Wan Muhammad Afif Wan Muhammad Ajli from group 9 from uh, ACE got. Okay. Next. Hello, my name is Ricky Gunawan from SPE group 9. From SEE. -E. Apa tu? SEE. -E. Ah, SEE -E. group nine. Okay. Next. Uh, hello. My name is Alex Gabriel Hamilton. Mm. I'm from SEE -E also. From group, group one. Okay. Next. Hello, my name is Chan Han Lee and I'm from SEE Group 1. Hello, camera on. Uh, I already on my camera, but I don't know the auto can't connect. See your face. The... You can't see your face. Uh, let me check. Hi. Nampak kuih je. I don't know why it automatically I nampak, I nampak gambar kuih. to OBS virtual camera so I can't like my camera cannot okay. function. Next. Miko Halme. Uh. Hello, my name is Miko Halme. Uh, I'm from SEE -E. uh. group your... 1. Uh, origin from? Uh, Finland. Oh, you're from Finland. International, huh? Yeah. yeah, exchange student. Exchange student. Uh, okay. okay. So, for one semester only? Yeah, one semester. Uh, which uh, Finland? Where about? Uh, capital city, Helsinki. Helsinki. Okay, okay. So, we have international student. So, you have to speak in English. Because uh, if you speak in Malay or Chinese or Arabs, Miko will not understand. Okay, yeah. everyone, please give uh, cooperation eh, to our uh, international student exchange for one semester only. Eh? For six months. Yeah, six months. Okay, so now I will do a briefing. Do you get my slide? In your WhatsApp? Uh, yeah, I got them. Yeah. Ada? Hello? Ada? Ada, ada, ada. Uh, nampak tak? Can you see my slide? Can you see? Boleh. Yes, yes. English, English. Can you see yes, my yes. slide? Yes, can Alright, okay. So, I start the briefing. Uh, so, the... This is an applied control lab. Uh, is a specialized lab. Introduction to PLC. PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller and Design. Okay, uh, using PLC more uh, model Glofa FN6, and that is the model of the PLC that we are going to use. Okay, uh, so PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller. Okay. And then uh, this uh, PLC is attached to the a platform uh, factory automation system ED4031, which uh, will in the lab applied control lab. Okay. So as an introduction, uh, PLC applied in uh, industrial landscape, especially in the automation process, uh, which involve a batch process. If you have a 10 batch process, so it start from batch process one, finish, go to batch process two, finish, go to batch process three, four, five, six, until the end at number 10. 
Okay, so the purpose of using PLC for efficiency enhance and to increase uh, productivity in the manufacturing facilities. Okay, so that is in the big industry for the laboratory is a scale down experiment where uh, it involved in design and results of uh, an experiment for the automated factory system using PLC. There are so many models uh, in the industry. Uh, for example, uh, Omron, uh, for example, Glofa, and many other uh, PLC brand. Okay. So in order to uh, run the design and testing, we need a sensors, uh, actuators, and a conveyor belt. Okay. To classify and to detect uh, various objects in the factory system. So what is sensors? Sensors is a device that sends physical signal and convert to electrical signal, which is voltage or current. Okay, sensors. For example, a metal sensor. So metal sensor detect metal and then convert to voltage signal. Either uh, it is a, a metal or not. So the base of the sensor is using magnet. Okay, so magnet can sense and detect metal and cannot detect plastics. Uh, for example, so signal for metal is different, signal from plastic is different. So that is sensors. Actuators is uh, to uh, receive electrical signals. The input is electrical signals and the output is a me mechanical motion. Okay, is a mechanical. So it converts electrical signal to mechanical signal. Okay. So that is actuators. And conveyor belt is uh, like a belting, okay? Belting that moving uh, by motor. is rotated by two motor, one at the front end and the other one is the at the rear end, okay? That uh, carry uh, some of the, uh, what do you call that, objects or materials in the manufacturing line, okay? So in order to run the sensors, to run the actuators and conveyor belts, sorry, conveyor belts, okay. So we need to do programming for PLC, okay. And uh, then this PLC programming is uh, using, sorry, is using a ladder diagram, okay. Uh, to execute the task given, okay. So the task given will be uh, in this uh, lab is to detect the non-metal and metal, and the other one is to detect defective and non-defective object. Uh, meaning defective is uh, we want to check whether the samples of the moving materials on the conveyor belt have a hole or not. If there is a hole, consider defective. If there is no hole, eh, no hole on the samples, meaning that uh, is a non-defective objects. So this is some in introductions of PLC, which you can uh, read. Okay, uh, I share with you. Uh, the purpose of PLC is to control manufacturing process and machinery in industrial automations. Okay, uh, was always applied in the assembly lines and material handling. So it consists of three major components, which is the uh, input output modules, uh, CPU modules, and programming device specific language. Okay, so this uh, available in the applied control lab. So the input can be received from sensors and switches or push buttons as analog or digital inputs. And the output signal are sent to the actuators for mechanical movement of motor, relay, valves, or pump. So this is a sample of actuators, motor, relays, valve, and pump. Eh? So sensors, as I mentioned to you just now, uh, to check whether there is a defect or non-defect of hole, metal of non-metal, uh, what else? Counter is also considered as the sensors. Eh? 
to count the number of samples moving on the conveyor belt. So this uh, CPU of the PLC will process and trigger the output based on inputs, manipulates memory content, uh, do the arithmetics, uh, programming and logical operations. Okay. And the key components in manipulating the PLC program and external program device which is a PLC ladder logic. The visual programming language is one of the most widely used in the PLC. So ladder logic or ladder diagram is widely used. Preferred with other programming language due to its capability to read eh? and similar to the electrical schematics. So we will construct this ladder logic okay, and build up with uh, runs of logic which you have to design lah in the laboratory. So our problem statement is easy. Uh, we want to uh, scale down okay, the process in the manufacturing line okay, to detect the uh, metal and non-metal uh, materials moving in the conveyor belt and to detect the defective and non-defective samples moving in the conveyor belt using your programming PLC design. Okay, so the, the hardware is there. So you have to design the flowchart, the process step by step, and then come up with the Larry diagram uh, to trigger the process for the manufacturing system. And then it comes to the aims and objectives to design factory automation control system using Glofa. Uh, pro PLC and then the trainer and to demonstrate the proposed control sequence by using ladder diagram in the GM Win software. See the Glofa PLC, the trainer, and the GMW Win uh, software. Three items. Okay, I repeat Glofa GM6 programmable logic controller, the trainer, the platform, the big one. And then the software. So this equipment of the uh, applied control lab for your lab today consists of the equipment factory automation trainer and then the Glofa PLC. Then it support with the connector, jumper wire, some wire, and then uh, pneumatic air tubes. Okay. So for the component is already connected. So you don't have to change the connection. You just uh, adjust and test the software, which is uh, accompanied in the desktop beside the trainer, okay, on the right, on your right, eh, in the laboratory. So you have to engage in this PLC programming software. So this is the big one in the industrial ED4031. I'm sorry, the quality is not good, but uh to scale down this process we use this one okay uh, which is uh, in the laboratory okay so you can see that the wire is there uh, do not uh, dismantle the connection okay you just uh, make a change on the plc programming eh, the ladder programming to run uh, this uh, factory automation trainer so, and this is the software uh, in Windows, in the uh, in the desktop given, okay. So you have to uh, use it, okay, and then uh, uh, do the programming, okay. So since uh, we have two groups, uh, in the what do you call that? Uh, in this experiment, eh, two groups, eh, uh, Najwa groups and Alex group. So for next week on Monday. Uh, the equipment only one, okay, and we have two groups. I don't understand why the coordinator sent two groups for this uh, experiment. So we make a table a schedule lah. for two p.m. Uh, Najwa <coughs> and the group at two p.m. You start using the uh, programming of the PLC, okay. Then uh, at 3 p.m., uh, Alex will do the experiment. Alex and the team 
will do the ladder programming turn by turn lah for one hour. Boleh? Can we do that? Yes, can. Can do that. Ah, so start with Najwa at two p.m. one hour, and then uh, Najwa and the group exit and let Alex and the team uh do the uh programming for later the game. And then at 4 p.m., you present to me the proposal next week, Monday. Can? Can? Hello? Yes, yes, can. Yes, yes, can, Dr. Do you sleep in the briefing? Don't sleep, eh? Okay, go sleep. So the methodology, the approach, as shown here, I already shared the slides, okay, uh, PLC programming software bus. So we divide into 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. group. Uh, so if you come at 2, Alex come at 2, so Alex and the team can do discussion first. And Najwa team will do the hands-on on the letter diagram. And then after one hour, Alex will use the computer and then uh, Najwa team will discuss uh, what is the proposal to present at 4 p.m. Okay, so the PLC the diagram created in the GMWIN programming, all the inputs and outputs will be assigned, okay, factory automation, and the three basic control, input, control, and input, control, and output. Okay, so sensor, application, actuator, okay, and the ladder diagram. So you are required to do some uh, programming, okay, of the manufacturing, transferring, inspection, and extracting. So this is the configuration of the system. Uh, this is the conveyor belt, okay. Uh, this is the casing for defective samples. At the end of the conveyor belt is the casing for uh, good uh, samples. No defecting. This one is a defecting. And we have a actuator here. The, the defective hole uh, actuator. Okay. And then we have a supply cylinder. And then we have a drilling. And then we have a emission cylinder. Okay. This is the configuration of the system, of the real system under consideration. So S2, S3, S4 is the sensor. Okay. Counter. Uh, metal detector and then the defective and defective and non-defective uh, sensor so can some, i ask yeah sure Miko. Got, uh, one picture is there like a analog or like a digital inputs or outputs like a detectors like a which sensors one? which one is like a s2 is it like a S2, S3, and S4 is the sensor. Yeah, it's digital input. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Input, yeah. Yeah, it's like a zero or one. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. If metal, let's say metal is set uh, as one, uh, non-metal, zero. Defective one, uh, non-defective, zero. Uh, S2 is just counter. I mean, how many samples moving uh, to count? Eh? How many samples? Maybe we have 10 samples, five metal, five non-metal. Okay. Yeah. So there is no analog inputs or outputs? Uh, no. Just uh, using the sensor as the input. Uh, okay. Okay. So we have uh, also uh, the fundamentals of using PLC programming is including the normally, normally open input, normally closed input, output call, and on delay timer. Three main basic operations is Boolean logic such as and function or function and not function in the digital electronics, eh? the, the last time that you learned in the subject, applied in the connection of block symbols in the ladder diagram. So four main sensors is the part sensors, defective sensor, material arrival sensors, and metal sensors. So this is the notations of the PLC programming. Okay, uh, you can use it as, a, for example, NO normally open and C normally closed, okay, then output coil, then time delay on, you have to set the time delay, and then the basic operations, including the digital uh, logic, or function, and function, and not function, 
And then four main sensor in this project is a part sensors, is a electronic device to detect the presence or absence of an object. Uh, okay. I think it's a lack of counter, lah, eh? Lack of counter. And then defective sensor to check whether the sample have a hole or not. Okay. And then uh, metal arrival sensor to detect metals. And then uh, continue metal sensors is to using the magnet. Uh, whether it is a conductor or non-conductor. And I give you some uh, flowchart for you. Okay. Uh, for the batch process, okay. For example, this one is uh, for metal and non-metal. We start first, press the button start, and then check to activate the conveyor belt, okay. Yes or no. And then move forward, then reel the work for five seconds, then push the work to the conveyor belt, check whether it's a metal or non-metal, store the work, and stop the conveyor belt, okay. This is sample only, lah. you can use it or you can modify it, no problem. And this one is for the defective and non-defective to check whether there is a hole or not in the sample. Okay, so uh, is uh, very straightforward with two decisions. Okay, work detected and work defected. And then I show you some videos. Okay, from the previous uh, groups, uh, last sessions. You want to see? Hello. Yeah. Huh? You want to see the video? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, or, or you don't want to see? You want to see? Yeah. yeah. You see, eh? Okay, lah. I share with you. I share, share, yeah, eh? I share with you. So, this is the videos. Okay. Can you see the video? Guys? Yes, doctor. Can I? Okay, are you ready? Sample moving. There you can see there. It's the metal. Detect the metal. The no hole. So that is a uh, non-defective. There is a hole. Go to the defective. This is metal and non-metal. So metal and non-metal separation. Metal go here, then non metal go at the end. Okay. The second experiment is uh, defective and non defective. There is a hole or not. So this sample have a hole on the top. Okay. Hole on the top. So go to the end. This one, no hole on the top. Uh, we'll go to the uh, non-defective. This one is uh, defective. Go to the end. Okay, can't count. Right. So, you want to see other as well? Other videos? Hello? You want to see other videos? Yes, sure. Okay. okay. Share again. Uh, other movies. This one, metal extractions. I think I show this one really. Yeah, show really. How about this one? Okay, can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Uh, 
Uh, this group cannot produce yes. uh, metal and non-metal. It's just counting only. Okay. Well, yeah, some groups can... The, the previous group is good. Lah. Okay, uh, this one is uh, not really successful, <laughs> but okay, lah. just uh, for me, it's okay. Lah, eh? um, so I will give you another one okay, eh? if I have any. You want to see other as well? Other groups? G1, G3. Oh, sama aja. Okay, that is the sample lah. Another. Okay. So, I hope it will help you uh, in order to do that. What is my expecting for this uh, group? First is the, you must able to show me the outcome lah, eh? of the programming, ladder diagram and the process. And then take a video for metal and non-metal and then uh, defective and non-defective samples. Okay, and the input and output assigned to the programming, GMWIN, Pro Ladder Program, and the design of the ladder program. So you have to uh, do the, what do you call that, the flowchart, eh? the algorithm, algorithm, how it works, show to me. Uh, so you should present next week the proposal in the PowerPoint and then you present to me huh? next week. Uh, Nurul Najwa at 3 p.m. Uh, presentation and then uh, Alex is about at 4 p.m. Okay. Uh, then my conclusion is uh, you must discuss your objective achievement. Uh, in the week number three. Week number three is the demonstration. Okay. Week number two is still working lah on the ladder diagram in three hours' time. Okay. One hour for Najwa, one hour for Alex group, and then the remaining one hour is for the presentation at 4 p.m. Any question? Any question? So the PowerPoint is by next week? Uh, next week, the proposal. Okay. Okay, so the proposal must show the name of the groups at the front cover, the picture, and the name of the groups, the head, and so on, and what is your strategy uh, for week number three, or what you want to do in week number three. Uh, you want the recorded meeting today? I can share it. Yeah, sure. Huh? You want yeah. the recorded meeting? I will upload in the YouTube and I will share in the WhatsApp list. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that's all for the briefing. So you can uh, find uh, uh, more references by looking at the slide that I share to you. Okay. Uh, Najwa, ada soalan as the head of group? Mm, so far, tak ada Dr. Clay. English lah, English. Uh, oh, so far, uh, uh, nothing that clearly. Oh, yeah, so far, yeah. no question. If okay. you have no question, I will give you a question. Alex, demo ada soalan? Ada soalan tak? Is there any question? Um, no question. No. No question. Okay, Miko, is it help the briefing? I think it's clear. No questions. Okay, all right. The head of the group is uh, Mr. Alec. Eh? So I will share the recorded value uh, in a few in a few hours after this. Okay. Thank you very much. See you later next week. Bye.